What's up, Epic Seven? We have a Mystic Summon event heading our way at the end of the month, and the wording on it has caused a little bit of confusion. Um, Reddit has kind of popped off, the comment section is filled with people not entirely sure what's going on, so I'm here to set the record straight on what's actually heading our way at the end of the month. So this is the post that, um, that Smilegate put out. This is the one that's causing all of the, uh, the confusion, right? A Mystic Summon event on 229. We would like to promote a preview of an up-and-coming Mystic Summon event scheduled to begin on the 29th. The Mystic Summon that will take place on the 29th will allow you to summon your desired hero amongst all 4-5 to five star Moonlight heroes released within the past 6 months, based on the Mystic Summon event ending date of 321. This is the first thing that caught people's eye. All ML4 and 5 heroes released within the past six months. Within the past six months implies earlier than six months, right? Within the past six months would mean Urban Shadow Shoe, Abyssal Euphin, Ludwig, and Sharoon. And for a four star, Infinite Horizon Achates. Any other ML5 units not within the past six months, it's older than the past six months. So this has made people think that this is actually just going to be a standard Mystic Summon, right? I mean, take a look at a, take a look at your normal Mystic Summon. And it's four ML5 units and an ML4 unit. Well, that could be Sharoon, Ludwig, uh, Euphine, Shu, and Hades. It makes sense, right? So a lot of us thought, hey, that's what's going on. It's just a quick catch up to let people who miss these five units have a chance to summon them. But that's not the case. Let's look at a couple of the, the key words in this post. First, they're calling it an event. Why would they call it an event? If it's just a regular Mystic Summon rotation, they would just say the next Mystic Summon is going to be a rerun of these units. The second thing is this part right here. Existing guaranteed summon count for Mystic Summons will be maintained. Uh, guaranteed summon count is a fancy way of saying Mystic Pity. Will be maintained. What they're saying is that if you use bookmarks on this banner, it will not impact your Mystic Pity. It will not reduce your Pity. It will not trigger your Pity if you're at Pity. That's not something normal Mystic Banners do. That's something that custom summon events do. Even though they say it twice, heroes released within the past six months here and heroes released within the past six months here, I think it's a typo. I think it's older than six months. It should say heroes released prior to the past six months. And to lend credence to that idea, we look at the Chinese post and I don't speak Chinese, so I use Google Translate. And the Chinese post says specifically, you can summon or choose heroes you want amongst all the four and five star Moonlight heroes that were launched six months ago. I needed a little more clarification. Did this mean launched prior to six months ago or after six months ago. So I reached out to Valky who speaks Chinese and he said specifically this says earlier than six months, older than six months ago. But I didn't stop there. I went and looked at the Japanese translation and the Japanese translation says four and five star heroes that have been implemented for six months. Implemented for six months. Euphine has not been implemented for six months. She's only been out for five. Sharoon has not been implemented for six months. She's only been out for one. Implemented for six months means older than six months. But the most damning thing is we looked at the Korean translation and the Korean translation is very specific. It says four and five star moonshine heroes released more than six months prior to the end of the summon. More than six months prior to this date is right in the middle of Urban Shadow Shoes banner. So it's saying Urban Shadow Shoe and older. Now I can't imagine that Korean, Japanese, and Chinese all have a typo, but English is correct. It's gotta be a typo here, guys. Also, the fact that they're calling it an event and the fact that they're saying Mystic Summon will be maintained, all of this points towards a custom Mystic Summon because 
they've never done just a regular ML5 banner, rerun banner, that doesn't impact pity. They'd have to code a whole new system to have summons on that banner not, imp not impact your pity. Only the custom Mystic Summon event, which is a separate, um, separate summon icon and everything, is isolated from Mystic Pity. So, what does this mean? This means that next week we get an extremely hype ML5 Mystic Summon. We've got Conqueror Lilius and we've got uh, Zeo, both on banner. Arguably two of the most important aggro and cleave units in the game and also with insane utility outside of RTA in both Arena, Guild Wars, and even a lot of PvE content. Lots of people are going to be dumping their Mystics chasing those two units. And then we roll right into a custom Mystic Summon. Now they did say that they're not going to uh, they're not going to run any new uh, ML5 units during the uh, during the custom Mystic Summon period. So you don't have to worry about this overlapping Senya or Polidus or any new ML5s. But this is going to roll right into this custom Mystic Summon where you can select any. ML5. You want ML Landy? You can get ML Landy. You want Shoe? You can pick up Shoe. Um, this is going to roll right into this event. And the way this event works, I'll, I'll do an entire separate video for with a tier list on who I think is worth pulling and worth not pulling, but I want to caution you when it comes to a Mystic Summon event. This is a dangerous event for you to pull on if you do not like to spend or have 10,000 Mystics saved up. The way this works is when you summon in a custom mystic summon you do not add to your mystic pity it doesn't impact it at all instead every time you summon you get a coin a special currency you summon once you get one coin you summon a hundred times you get a hundred coins once you get 200 coins 200 summons that's 10,000 mystics once you do 200 summons you'll have 200 coins and for 200 coins you can straight up buy the ml5 you've chosen and in the past, they've, off, they've let us switch from one ML5 to another once or twice. They haven't mentioned that this time, but here's the theory, right? Say they let you switch once, and you really want Zeo and Conqueror Lilies. You choose Conqueror Lilies, and you start summoning, and you hope that you luck sack into her sometime before you hit 200 coins. And let's say you get to 190 coins, and boom, you luck sack and get your Conqueror Lilies. So you can then switch your custom to target Zeo, and you do t the, the last 10 summons to 200 coins, and you use your 200 coins and buy Zeo, and there you go. For one pity, for 10,000 coins, you got two ML5s. And that's pretty nice. Where this banner is dangerous is you only have, say, 5,000 Mystics, but you really want ML Andy, so you take a shot and you dive into it, and you dive in 5,000 Mystics, and you've got no ML Landy yet, and you're still 5,000 Mystics away from getting 200 coins to buy her, and the banner is getting ready to end on 321, and you still don't have her, and you're free to play, or you don't have the money this month to spend. Well, now you're screwed. You've just lost 5,000 Mystics, because you can't get the unit. At the end of the Mystic Summon, all the coins will vanish, and you've got no, uh, well, I'm sorry, about a week after the Mystic Summon, all the coins will vanish, but they don't carry over to the next Custom Summon event. And it, it, it's a trap to burn away all of your Mystics. Or convince you that you need to swipe, or you've just lost a whole bunch of resources. So don't touch this banner, unless you have, I'd say, roughly 8,500 Mystics. And the reason I'm picking 8,500 is... It's a three week long event, and in three weeks, between Guild Wars and rotating the secret shop, you should be able to get the last 1500 Mystics if you're really, really dedicated. Uh, if you aren't really, really dedicated, maybe, uh, maybe 9000 Mystics before you touch this. Otherwise, it, it's just gonna siphon away what Mystics you have, and uh, you're really taking a shot. I, I would just recommend you, you save those Mystics. The, uh, third cautionary tale is that Conqueror Lily Zeo banner into custom Mystic Summon banner into new ML5 banner that will probably be Senior Apolitus. Both will look, look amazing and will probably have insane kits. It's no coincidence they redid the, uh, redid the shop to make packs and Mystic packs show up in a more pretty, presentable, and accessible way. 
they had a pretty disastrous month financially last month, so kind of expect the weaponized monetization to roll in, and I don't blame them. They need to get their income back on track. I would like to see them do it with a uh, content hype rather than FOMO and Mystic Summons and $50 pet packs, but hey, here we are. Hopefully they turn this train around, but I just wanted to explain that this, this is probably a typo. I did seek clarification with Smilegate. It's the weekend, of course, so we probably won't have confirmation for a couple of days yet. If they come back and confirm something different than what I'm saying here, I will definitely pull this video and make a new one explaining it. But hey, I would bet 10,000 mystics that this is a typo. They are, it's not released within the past six months. It's released prior to the past six months. I can't imagine that Korean, Japanese, and Chinese all say prior to, but English is correct with less than. So I hope this helps alleviate the confusion and explain what is heading our way. Um, if you have eight to 10,000 mystics and you're excited about the custom mystic summon, wait, don't pull on Lilius and Zeo banner next in a few days wait and see what the clarification is from smilegate wait uh stay tuned for more details regarding the summon in an upcoming update notice wait for that notice let's find out what kind of custom summon it is are they going to let us select one two or three units are they going to let us change our selection once we obtain a unit through the gotcha system or is it just to target one unit and you have to use pity on it we need to know how good this mystic summon event's going to be and that will temper your decision on whether or not to pull. If you say, for example, it does let you swap and you've got 10,000 mystics, I would not pull on the Lilius Zeo banner. I would save my mystics and pull on this banner. I would pull on this banner. I would select Lilius. I would push my way through. I would try to luck sack her and then I change to Zeo and I would use my coins to buy Zeo. Now I got both. My mystic pity's preserved. I can go into the Polydus Senya banner with my mystic pity intact. So a lot depends on how close you are to pity, how much you like spending, and more importantly, what the details of this event are. So definitely stay tuned and don't make any rash decisions. I think everybody needs to wait and see. We, we know it's going to be a Mystic Summit event, but we need details on how that Mystic Summit event is going to function before I can advise whether or not to pull on this or not. In a later video, I'll make a, a tier list and a more detailed explanation on the Custom Summit event, but I hope this... Uh, this primer sorts you, and if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. And as always, like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your weekend, everybody.